Whenever you get the RTN Boys Band and Sunshine, you know you're in for a special day. And that was the case when Monaghan and Cork met in the 2012 Board Gosh Energy Division 1 final at Parnell Park. Ladies Gaelic Football Association President Pat Quill was introduced to the players just before the start. And just over an hour later, Pat presented the cup to a delighted Monaghan captain. Sharon, I've rarely seen a captain as delighted as you were there, jumping up and down, just sheer exhilaration. Sheer exhilaration, I think relief as well. Like, um, it's been a long time coming, this team's been on the road a long time and finally we've got um, something to show for it. We've been told we're top four team in the country, we're always there, thereabouts, but we've nothing to show for it. So thank God today we've the national title with the cup there, so delighted. I'm just delighted, Jerome. It's, uh, it's a long, long time since we won it, as we said, 99. <laughs> I can't even count how many years it's that long. And ironically, it was here on this pitch as well that we won it, so that's even. Uh, it was a good omen going into the game, but we worked so hard from, from, for the last, from 1 to 32 for the last, uh, since the start of the year, the beginning of January, and uh, that was just that's the reap reward. Quite right, we should have been further ahead at half time and kind of probably slightly disappointed we were only the point ahead. But the girls worked seriously hard, and especially in that second half, we got a great start to it. And um, New Cork were going to come back at us like they did, but we just knew we weren't going to leave it behind us today. You made a lot of great saves, <laughs> sort of just getting in the way of sort of thing. It's just throw your body at it, and if it hits you, just try and keep it out the best you can. And what about the last 10 minutes when they finally did beat you? Oh, it was tough, like it. Gronje sort of jumped in the middle of the first one, so I had it, only first she deflected it in, and then the penalty shot's 50-50, it's anyone's, I was lucky enough to save one the last day, but just not today. You've been around a few years, there's a few young girls coming through, were absolutely fantastic today. Absolutely, Jerome, there was, um, just across the field, everyone worked so hard and really wanted, and the amount of chances Cork got, and they just went to times ball went in around the backs, and I mean, they worked out, it was just brilliant, across the whole field, a great performance, and just delighted. Monaghan girls are back. They're back, <laughs> and watch out. <laughs> What does this mean to you and to Monaghan football? It's absolutely fantastic, absolutely fantastic. No other words to describe it, it's just brilliant. Just finally, there's a great buzz around Parnell Park here. It means a lot to Monaghan people. It does, like um, Monaghan ladies has always been to the fore in Monaghan, so, um, but at the same time we've never had anything really to show for it, like we've won Ulster Championships, but um, so to actually get the league title and to have to bring it back to the Monaghan people is brilliant.